Rivers, do you mind checking on the team? I need some time to come up with a plan. Is everything okay? Yes, yes, I'm fine. I'm just tired. I must be seeing things. Yeah, that's right. I'm just seeing things. You don't sound too happy about what's going on. Why would I be? You've heard Reese. You know what it means. We're crossing the Annihilation Line soon. And what for? To finish a mission that makes absolutely no sense? Did you hear that guy? We're going after people that look like us. Isn't that exactly what that note said? The one that you found in Northridge? We're in over our heads. The team should always come first, not the mission. That's what the Resistance taught me. And I know I'm not the only one that feels that way. You do too. That HK in Bakersfield was giving us a lot of problems, and you took care of it because that's what a team does. We look out for one another. Meeting Connor is not worth all of this. I think there's someone else you should talk to first. God fucking damn it! Is, uh, everything all right? The whole situation has me so wound up, I'm shaking. Not good for handling explosives. You're just tired. You need a break. I'd love to. But since there's no one in a hundred miles of here that can help, I think I'll have to power through. It's too early to start worrying. Reese hasn't decided anything about crossing the Annihilation Line yet. You know what else he's keeping quiet about? How our previous assignment was stupid and bound to fail. Or how truly fucked up it is that we're back in the trenches just hours after our team got decimated. He hasn't mentioned Brooks, Johnson, or Yang. He hasn't mentioned them once, like they never fucking existed. Pharaoh. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be snapping at you like that. Let's talk. Yeah, let's. Those were the soldiers that died during that mission, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Except they weren't soldiers, not to me. They were my family. They practically raised me. How so? I enlisted when I was 11. I was assigned to this team of four guys who I was absolutely intimidated by. I was trying to play the tough kid in front of them, you know? Constantly trying to impress them. Looking back, I must have been an endless source of entertainment for them. What 
kind of things would you do? I would make IEDs out of everything I could get my hands on. One time I turned Johnson's flashlight into a pipe bomb and forgot to tell him. He found out during a scouting mission. I'm told he wasn't too happy about it. With the four of them, I was happy. First time in my life I had someone looking after me. That's what I imagine having a family must be like. Now I'm starting to think that if I get killed, Reese won't even care. He can't look me in the eyes. Hasn't said my name this whole time. It's always corporal, like he doesn't know me. I'm sure this is just a way he's handling what's happened. It'll change. I really hope so. Anyway, thanks for letting me vent. Sometimes that's all it takes. Rivers, can I have a word with you? Sir. I wanted to ask your opinion about what we've heard today. What do you really think happened in Northridge? Do you think that some rogue resistance squad cut a deal with Skynet? Decided to deliver an outpost full of civilians in exchange for some special treatment? Or maybe you have a theory of your own regarding what's happened. I can't rule out a rogue resistance squad. Wouldn't be the first time someone tried to make a deal with Skynet. That's true. To tell you the truth, I think I would prefer it if that's what happened. Then we at least would know what we're up against. But I'm not yet convinced. Is that all, sir? One last thing. We all know what the deal is with the T-600s. They're easy to spot and their rubbery mugs are not fooling anyone. Well, what about this new model? I'm asking you because you're one of the few people that got to look at them up close and live. See, do you think you would know if you were talking to a Terminator? I'm sorry to say this, sir, but no. The line has been blurred so much that I couldn't tell the difference. I appreciate the honesty, Rivers. That's it for now. Sarge, actually, I've been meaning to tell you something. I think you should talk to Corporal Farrow. It seems to me that she hasn't fully recovered from your previous assignment. I understand. Unfortunately, that'll have to wait. There's still a lot of work ahead before we move out. I don't mean to step out of line, sir, but... that may be part of the problem. I see your point. But I can't risk the safety of my team. Preparations have to come first. You can take a break now, soldier. You did a hell of a job today. What's going on? Ah! What the fuck was that? I don't know, but we're not staying here to find out. Let's go! They're already here. Find some cover! Why the hell did my explosives go off? How about we worry about that later? Everyone on me! Rivers, get that door open! That thing was an HK Centurion. How the hell do you know that? I saw them work on it when I was at that camp. 
So, another of their weapons has come online. We're in deep shit. There's more! Spread out! Armored Spider, 12 o'clock! Whoa! Scratch that! Everyone focus! Next time that could be one of us. Stay low, and be quiet. What the fuck is that? A firing squad. They were waiting for us. Fuck! Run! I can see the exit! We gotta clear the way! Stay here long. We're caught in the open.
whole fucking army. Anyone have any pipe bombs left? Now's the time to use them. really worth it, John. Sergeant, I wanted to make an official request for a demotion. There's no need for that, Farrell. The anti-tank mines that I set up didn't work. I feel responsible. It's not your fault. None of this should have happened because we shouldn't even be here in the first place. Easy, soldier. Sergeant, we're about to cross the annihilation line, and I'd like to know why. Because you were selected for this mission. That should be enough for you. All due respect, sir, it isn't. Is there something that we don't know yet? What's so special about those people? We've been kept in the dark for too long. Is this how you all feel? Kyle, there has to be more. The last message sent before Northridge went silent said that they rescued a group of civilians. These people were kept in cages for years. They were starved, looked like they were barely alive. And despite that, Skynet went looking for them? Why? They mentioned a name. A name Connor wanted to keep a secret. We didn't want anyone to be emotionally invested in the mission. Seeing how we're all looking over the edge now, one of the people rescued was the father of Sergeant Rivers. What? That can't be true. He's dead. He died years ago. Connor got a hold of some intel, confirming that's not true. He's alive, and he's in that camp. Does anyone have any more questions regarding the mission? No. No, sir. All right. We move out in a couple hours. Get some rest. That goes for you too, Rivers. I'm gonna get some shut-eye before the mission. About the team now. We'll get them out, Rivers. Even if it. Means 
crossing the annihilation line. Quite some news, Rivers. Can't imagine what's going through your head. How are you feeling? Shocked, to say the least. And you? It's gonna get tough, and I don't want to put anyone in danger. I'm gonna stop you right there. I've been fighting my whole life and never really knew what I was fighting for. Now I finally have an answer that makes sense to me. Your father? Actual family. That's something worth fighting for. And we're going to get him back, Rivers. The things I'd do to talk to my dad. Even if it was just for a moment. Have you talked to Reese yet? I'm not gonna bother him yet. Just look at the craziness he has to deal with. I'll give him some space. We'll probably talk when we get back from the mission. What would you say? You're putting me on the spot, but... Well, I've never met my father. I guess that's not uncommon these days. So, I guess I would say, hi, nice to finally meet you. But more importantly, do you know what you're gonna say? Sorry for not looking for him. Hey, don't. Don't beat yourself up. How could you know? I know this is a lot for you to take in, but I can't have anyone on my team distracted. Not now. Is that understood? You should have told me about my father earlier. I couldn't risk you getting too emotionally involved. People's lives depend on you staying focused, soldier. The success of our mission is everything. It's all that matters. So can you manage that? Yes, sir. So what's the plan? Anselmo mentioned two targets. We'll start with the Skynet factory. Of course, that means we'll have to cross the Annihilation Line first. Seems like a lot for a four-person team. It is. I want each of us to take a sector over the Annihilation Line. Once we're there, our responsibility will be to cause as much damage as possible. I want Skynet to notice. When it does, it will send reinforcements from the factory, leaving the place unprotected. That's where we'll regroup before we get our people out. I know that I'm asking you for a lot, but I don't see any alternative. We all know the risk, sir we're prepared to take it. I'm sure you all do, Rivers. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm the one that's asking you to cross the Annihilation Line. It's a tough call, and I'm glad I'm not the one making it. I wouldn't be surprised if you're not completely comfortable making it either. You deserve honesty, Rivers. But if I were to speak freely, I would have to say things that a soldier shouldn't hear from his commander. Get your gear. We're moving out soon. Are you sure Skynet will take the bait? You have to remember that Skynet is just a machine. A program that works according to protocols. And that works to our advantage. They're predictable. And that's gonna be Skynet's downfall. Do you believe these people are still alive, Sergeant? The old man mentioned that Skynet took them to a work camp. 
If that's the case, we're lucky. What do you mean? Skynet won't start exterminating their prisoners until the camp's at full capacity, or when their objective has been completed. These people are valuable to Skynet. They'll keep your father alive, Rivers. Should be able to see it from that hill. I smell something burning. I'm just imagining things. Or not. Holy shit. It stretches as far as the eye can see. And it'll continue to move forward. That's why we need to focus on our objective. We have to create as much havoc as we can. I think they've got that covered. We need Skynet to take the bait. Once they do, they will withdraw some of their forces from that factory, and that's when we'll strike. Everyone knows where their sector is? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Then let's move out. Everyone in position, I want each of us to find a target. Something that will get Skynet's attention, and then destroy it. Yes, sir. Let's get to work. Rivers, one more thing. There used to be a resistance shelter in your sector. It was probably raided when our soldiers withdrew, but it might be worth investigating. What the fuck is that? Sir, I found a target, but I don't think I've got enough explosives to make a dent in it. Take a picture. I want to see it. now. I see what you mean now. You have to find out what they're using it for. The computer in the nearby outpost should give us some answers. And what about the excavator? Find a way to destroy it. You mentioned an old resistance shelter. I'll see if there are any explosives left that I can use. That looks like your best option. Over and out. wide open. Sergeant, I got enough explosives to bring that excavator down, but there's still a lot of intel lying around here. If Skynet gets a hold of it, we might have a problem. River, you're breaking up. They set a trap. It didn't go off.
I should set off the trap. It's too risky to have these documents just lying around here. Detonator changed. Oh, shit. the explosives. Did you run into any problems? No, sir. Uh, proceeding with the main objective.
explosives are alive. It's coming down. That's oh, of a job, Rivers. Evans, you're hopeless. Now Skynet will know how it feels. Visual on the target building.
Sir, I've reached some sort of terminal. A terminal? What are they planning? There are lots of plasma containers here. What do I do? Smash them. Don't leave any behind. Understood. Skynet won't be using this terminal for a long time. Outstanding work, Rivers.
anything yet, Rivers? Nothing so far, sir. It could be a bogus lead. Keep your eyes open. Heading to the control room. Approaching the computer. Sir, I've neutralized my two main targets. All right, Rivers. Unless you need some time to finish any secondary objectives, you can proceed to the extraction point. We'll meet you at that factory. All this will be over soon. You just... Destroying that terminal should put Skynet's plans on hold. Everyone's here. Good. This is it. That's the factory where they keep the prisoners. Looks like Skynet took the bait. They shifted their security. for 
resources. What I tell you, Skynet's just a predictable piece of computer software. We can use that against them. The plan is simple. We infiltrate the target building and secure the prisoners. Once we find the people we're looking for, we leave. Rivers, I want us to pick apart what's left of their surveillance. Mark the remaining terminates for Evans to take out. Roger that. I'm in position. Target acquired. Target down. Taking it down. Done. Affirmative. Target down. Let's move. This way. What the fuck is that? I'm gonna be sick. Wait, does that mean... No. This factory's been in operation for a long time. This... this must be over. Get through that gate. On it. Step back. We're going in. Keep sharp. Danger ahead. T-47, up there! Danger ahead. T-47, up there! underground.
saw these signs. We're close. Fuck me, is that... The grinder, yeah. I never wanted to see it up close. Keep your eyes open. are empty. There must be more. We have to keep going. Race! Let's go! They're still offline. What the fuck? This is... Me. I fucking knew it! Pharaoh. To all that talk about Connor? He was on a fucking mission to terminate him! He got me out of that camp. I wanted to thank him. Bullshit. Wait. Did you sabotage my mines? The ones I set up at the hideout? You won't get away with this. This stops now. It's all in here. Evans was not imprisoned in a camp. He was in a research facility. He used his likeness to create a new type of infiltration unit. But... But how do I know that? From John Connor. I didn't want to believe it. But so far, everything Connor has said has come true. That's impossible. Shit. It says in here that the implementation of Cyberdyne Systems Model 102 is finished. What does that mean? That they no longer have any use for those people. We gotta move. They moved all the prisoners to that second location. We won't find any of them here. Then why are we moving forward? Because we need to burn this fucker to the ground. The 
T-800 production line is live! How about we focus on the one shooting at us? There's more of them on the other side! Where to now? First, let's take out those drones. We need to deactivate those laser barriers. That's for the main generator. I see it over there. Rivers, get yourself up there. We can cure the criminal. It's too quiet. This is making me nervous. Behind you! Rivers! Get a move on! Still looking. Radio in as soon as you found that computer. Yes, sir. I'm almost there. I can see the computer. Come on. Blow on ammo. Barriers are down. Nicely done, Rivers. Now get down here. We need to go. the explosives. That's one. And another. That's it. Right behind you. All right. We need to get some distance between us and that generator. Let's move. We've stayed here long enough.
Reese, I think we're far enough. Do it! Detonating in three, two, one. We'll make it. What a fucking shit show. Hey, that's not helping anyone. 